Well, hello. Today I'm gonna be filming a video that no one really asked for. I am going to be trying out cheap prom dresses and homecoming dresses. These will all be linked down below, so make sure you check out the description box. Before I get started, I'd like to thank my friends at Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you need a website, an online store, or a domain, you can make it with Squarespace. I know a lot of you guys want to start blogs and businesses, so Squarespace is where you can make a really beautiful website in an all-in-one platform so there's nothing to install or upgrade. So make sure to go to squarespace.com to start a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace slash Kiana Naomi for 10% off your first website or domain. You're welcome. So I have a lot of dresses here. I don't know if I want to do prom dresses or homecoming dresses first. I'm sure you guys are kind of here for the prom dresses, so I think I'll do most of those first. So we're going to start off pretty basic. I have this black dress. It low-key looks, high-key looks see-through. Okay, so, okay, this dress is so cute. I'm wearing pasties, so I don't really feel out the top of it. It's why I'm the story of my life. Would I recommend this dress? Absolutely. But if you're not comfortable with showing your back, I probably would choose another dress. I would rate this dress a 8 out of 10. Like, this is a really nice dress. So the next dress I'm going to try is a navy one. It's like that tight spandex material, and then the back is like this open back. Honestly, I have a lot of faith in this, and oh, there's a slit. Wait, stop. Sherry Hill has a dress like this, and it's so expensive, and I wanted it for my senior prom. And this is literally almost exactly what I wanted, and it's so cute, and I'm just in my feelings right now. The back is like this. You can't really wear a bra, as you can see, if you don't want anyone to see it. So you'd probably just have to wear one of those bras that only goes forward, but I'm really feeling this dress. Like, I... This dress honestly just makes me feel really pretty. And I'm not trying to get all sappy, but honestly, prom is about feeling good about the way you look and being surrounded by your friends. And you can feel beautiful on a budget. I feel great in this. I look great in this. <laughs> this gets a 10 out of 10. Like, you can dance in this dress. Like, yes. Okay, so this next dress. I don't really know what I was thinking. But maybe if you have a different style than me and you like to go a little bit more um, lacy for prom, I guess. So this dress is horrible. So the back of this dress is like low-key look is really not that bad. So I give this dress a 6 out of 10 because even though I don't like it, like it's really not that bad. This could easily be someone else's style and the quality is actually not that bad. It actually feels pretty comfortable. This is the next dress. It's a little bit low cut. So if I'm covering my chest, then you know why. It's a little sheer at the bottom, so this should be interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of holding this up, so sorry. This material is bomb. Honestly, I give this dress a 9 out of 10. It doesn't have a slit, but the back, you know, gives you that wow factor. Next dress we're gonna try on is this one and this is not really promy. but yeah I'm gonna try it on anyway cuz like why not? So this dress is actually very tasteful very pretty. Again it's low cut and my boobs are out so like what else is new? Would I wear this dress to prom? Obviously not. I just it's not really my thing. Definitely gonna need fashion tape or your boobs are literally gonna pop out like they're actually just gonna you know? So the next dress is just this red halter top one. It does look a little see-through. Like, I don't see the point of making a see-through dress. Unless it's advertised as see-through, don't make it see-through, you know? Anyways, I'm just gonna try this red dress on, okay? <laughs> Getting this on was a struggle. I low-key got some lip gloss on it. I was in a pretzel on the floor trying to get my legs through. You know, it doesn't even matter. Um, I just need to you catch my breath. Hold up. Okay, so this dress is okay like it's nothing special I'm not even gonna lie the back is what made it so hard to get on and this dress is see-through I guess how hard it was to get on was worth it kind of I don't really know I'm still out of breath a little bit like a 6 out of 10 because it's not that cute like it's plain but like it's cheap so maybe I'll give it like a 7.5 also I got this random belt so I'm just gonna try this belt out still not bad it's kind of I mean obviously it's cheap I wouldn't recommend this belt I mean it's all right you know it's okay. Finally, on my last prom dress, and this one looks beautiful. This dress looks expensive. She is red bottom. She is bloody shoes. This dress is gorgeous. It's just a really pretty pink dress. This detailing is so pretty. Like, what? The slit is so high that if you make a wrong move, your underwear will for sure be out. But I give this dress a good 8 out of 10. I forgot to do a shot trying on that last dress. No. So this is the last prom dress, so we are now going to move on to homecoming dresses, and this is going to be a lot easier for me because 
these brown dresses were a struggle to get on. First, let's just try this blue one. So this dress is really pretty. It's a little tight, you know, I can barely breathe inside. These sleeves, this is a look. If you're planning on eating a lot, I get bloated. I don't know about y'all, but this would show everything. This, yep, no. It's really cute and I look good. So, so the next, this is horrible. You know, I don't want to offend anybody, but this is not, let me just try it on. Let me just quit talking, try it on. Okay, it's really not that horrible. It's not that horrible. Let me move this plant. This dress is doing the absolute most, but it's not the worst. But for homecoming and things of that nature, it's just, it's doing too much. Like this is, it's just, I don't even know what to say. I give it like a six out of 10, 6.5 maybe. The next dress is this fancy little number. I'm pretty excited to try this on. Okay, so this dress is really cute. It's a little cheap up here. Like if you can see the top of the dress, like what is going on? Like, I don't know if they tried, but it's not working. This is a really cute dress. Like I'm feeling it, the back. It's just a really pretty low back with this little bow at the bottom. I might need to get a small instead of an extra small because I got a little thicker this uh, college season. But it's still really cute. If I did have a food baby, I would not be able to breathe. So. So I also got something really similar and this is a black dress that has sparkles on it and I'm sure these are like pretty much the same thing. This dress is a whole look. It does definitely push your boobs together, which is not really my thing. Like, I just like to have my boobs put away. It's just me. It's just me. The back is really, really pretty. Definitely could have went a size up, but then I would fear that it would be too big around this area because it's already kind of big around here. But overall, would I wear it? Absolutely. This dress definitely gets 10 out of 10, and I don't really give out 10 out of 10, so we should all, you know. Next is this dress. I don't know why I got this. Yeah. So this dress isn't awful. It's giving me like Great Gatsby vibes. I just, it's okay. You know, it's just like kind of shapeless. Seven or eight out of ten because it's comfortable. So. So this next dress is definitely, I'm just going to try it on. It's not really a look. I mean, no. The back just looks like this. I mean, it is comfortable, but like my butt is literally so close to the hem and like I just don't understand the point of wearing a dress this short, I don't know. So this next dress is really sparkly, and I guess it's like a bodycon? Yeah. Okay, so this dress tried. She did not execute, no she did not. It's so cheap that like the sides like stick out. Okay, you know what it is? Maybe if I could fill it out better, that's what it is. She's struggling a little bit. I give her like a 3 out of 10, maybe 2.5. So next I have this little number. This should look good. I don't see why it wouldn't. Stop texting me. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna try this. Okay, so this dress, I really like it. It's really classy. You don't have to worry about your boobs falling out. I would definitely keep this if I had to go to like something that's a little bit more formal and um... I like it a lot and it fits me really well and I can breathe and you can eat in this dress because this is stretching right on with you. So we ended on a bang. This is the last dress. If you want more videos of me just unboxing stuff. Is that another dress? Just kidding. That didn't work. Just kidding. We got another dress. This is serving me like Paris Hilton vibes and I'm very excited about it. So this dress is not bad. I mean, honestly, it doesn't fit me well as you can see, but if you really want to wear it, you can just get it tailored. If this fit, I would definitely give it like an 8 out of 10 just because this is kind of cheaply put on and the material isn't that great, but I mean, it's cheap. But yeah, this is the last dress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you like me, you can follow me on my social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Okay, bye. Mwah. Bad bitch in a lake. Tell me that she made the trip. Shorty bad as hell, yeah. With them college journalists.